we would actually leave looking at the wet weather we've had today on the radar sequence. Here are the showers moving north eastwards, but there was a lot of fine and dry weather out there too. So beautiful October sunshine to help lift the spirits and the temperatures after a chilly old start. Last night some of us fell down close to freezing. Now I think tonight we're going to have these showers continuing to feed in from the southwest, some of them on the heavy side, some banding together to give a longer spell of rain, perhaps a bit of patchy mist and fog but quite windy so we'll probably avoid that in most spots and a much milder night tonight with lows of 8 to about 10 or 11 celsius. And then tomorrow low pressure centre to the west, this little trough moving out over the top of us so I think unlike today we'll start with showers from the word go or some longer spells of rain and then it should become drier and brighter although still some showers feeding in during the afternoon it's looking a windy day tomorrow with a good moderate to fresh southwesterly with highs around 13 to 15 degrees celsius and then on saturday the low pressure shifts position the center right over the top of us so I do think we'll still have some showers around, but perhaps not quite as many as on Friday. And I think we will have a lighter winds because of the position of that low pressure. And then as we head into Sunday, I've taken the shower symbol off because I think any showers on Sunday really will be few and far between. And as high pressure builds in on Monday and Tuesday, it looks like it will be fine and dry. But as those winds turn northwesterly, we will have some chillier days to come with highs of only around 12 Celsius. And then turning unsettled again, from Wednesday and just before I go these are your overnight lows so we perhaps could get a touch of frost on Saturday night see you later